Hello investors, my name is Dayhan. Welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at potentially buying three altcoins on the dip. So in the past 24 hours, the market is doing very well. It is up about 2.09%, so about 2% on the green side, which is very nice. Our top gainer is going to be right here. This one is up about 25.69% in the past 24 hours. It's trading at right around a $20 range. We obviously see our highest volume, Bitcoin, but the volume is actually a little bit lower than compared to, you know, the highs that we saw just a few weeks ago. Now, Bitcoin price action is definitely moving, guys. So we're trading at around, you know, 48, 49,000 almost right here. We're up about 1.96%, almost up 2% uh, from, you know, 24 hours ago. Ethereum is pretty much flat trading around this 3,500 area back and forth. So it's just bouncing back and forth. Cardano is up about a percent. Binance is up a percent. Uh, Solana making a comeback, which we talked about, guys. So we mentioned Solana hitting that 150 area and potentially waiting for the upside. And that's exactly what's going on right now. Polkadot is up 4%. All these other altcoins are up about 1% or 2%, some even a little bit higher, depending on which coin. And then obviously we have some outliers that are in the red as well. So that's obviously a part of uh, trading. So guys, before we get into this, uh, video go ahead and smash that like button for me let's aim for 100 plus likes on this video subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notifications to get notified every time i make a new video and as always if you want to sign up for weeble get your two free stocks valued up to 2300 dollars links come in the description and check out our merch that we just released on the channel as well let's get into it so first altcoin is going to be solana sol so one of the green coins one of our favorite coins on this channel we talked about this one when we were trading at 30 dollars 50 dollars even all the way up to about 200 dollars and then obviously once it hit the all-time high we talked about a potential pullback and then buying the dip so that's exactly what happened. Now, right now, Solana is trading at 163. We saw it go to 140, a little bit under 140 at one point. Now it's up 15.33% just in the past 24 hours here. In the past week, it's still 9% 9, uh, 9 lower. Obviously, on the one-month chart, it is up 153% with the all-time high here right here that we saw at about $200, $216. So that was the all-time high. We talked about that being you know, kind of like a top area, and we predicted that pretty much right on the dot. And then on the 150 area, we talked about potentially getting back in. It actually reached about 138, 140, and then it bounced back up. Now it's at 163. So very nice performance here on uh, Solana. It's up over 5,145% in the past year as it was trading around $2 last year, $3. Went to highs here in May at $55, $56. Pulled back down all the way to 24, 25, and then boom, we just saw, saw it, you know, rocket on higher about, you know, a huge amount from here from $24 to $220. That's almost a 900% gain plus. So $1,000 would be worth around $9,000 on that investment, which is just insane to think about in a matter of about two or three months. So market cap right now, 48.1 billion. If we take a look here at the typical hold time for Solana, it's around 11 days, 5.1 billion volume. 72% trading activity buy and then 28% sell activity. It is the fifth most popular coin on, you know, in the crypto space. Now Solana is a decentralized computing platform that uses a SOL to pay for transactions. Solana aims to improve blockchain scalability by using a combination of proof of stake consensus and so-called proof of history. As a result, Solana claims to be able to support 50,000 transactions per second without having to sacrifice decentralization. So, you know, how do, how it works, how does Solana work? Many of you guys might be asking. Well, one way Solana achieves high transaction speeds is via the combination of the proof of stake consensus mechanism and a new mechanism called proof of history. Now, as a proof of history is designed to keep time between computers on a decentralized network without all the computers having to communicate um, about it and com com come to an agreement. Now, keep in mind, like like Ethereum, Solana is a computing platform that can uh, you know interact with smart contracts. Smart contracts power a wide range of applications from NFT markets and DeFi to games and uh, decentralized lotteries. Now, one reason a user might uh, choose an app that runs on Solana over, say, Ethereum is that speeds are high and congestion is low, resulting in very low fees. And fees is definitely something that we like to keep low, obviously, those gas prices. So obviously, with NFTs obviously being very popular right now, and those are blowing up, Solana is the top pick right now. Solana is doing very well because of NFTs as well. So whenever we see a NFT run, like a bull run solana is going to perform well as well which is obviously a positive sign for us uh, crypto investors so we want to see nfts do very well and we want to see those nft prices continue to skyrocket as we have in the past you know few months so solana is definitely benefiting from these things and everything is kind of connected and you know correlated so that is definitely a positive for us with solana and the nft market as well so solana is our first altcoin 
Second altcoin is going to be Polkadot, also known as DOT. Dot. So this one is up about 4% here on the past 24-hour chart. It is at 35.53. In the past week, this one is up about 21%. In the past month, up about 50%. And then obviously on the one-year chart, 575%. We saw this one trading at around $5 last year. Hit highs here in May at around $50. So nice gain right there in, you know, for about a year. We saw a pullback down all the way to about $10 here. And now we're up over 200% from that low. So from $10 all the way to highs, even reaching highs here about $37, $38 at one point. And now we're a little bit of a pullback. We're hoping for a consolidation area and then another trend on higher. So that's what we're going to be looking forward to. So, you know, Polkadot has been performing very well. 35 billion market cap right now, 2 billion volume right there. As you can see, the typical hold time is 23 days. It is the sixth most popular coin right on right behind Solana. 69% buy activity, 31% sell activity. Polkadot is a protocol that enables cross-blockchain transfers of any type of data or asset by uniting multiple blockchains. Polkadot aims to achieve high degrees of security and scalability. DOT serves as the protocol's governance token and can be used for staking to secure the network or connect the, the new chains as well. Now, how does it work? Well, Polkadot uses a proof of stake consensus mechanism, um, you know, similar to you know Bitcoin. Now, to secure the network, verify transactions and create and distribute new DOT. There are several you know ways DOT holders can interact with the the staking system, depending on how much time, technical knowledge, and money they want to devote. Um, you know, by staking and participating in the network, you may be able to receive DOT rewards. Now, keep in mind, the reason Polkadot can process all of this information um, is because the many uh, parachains dot do a lot of uh, the heavy lifting for the main relay chain. As a result, the Polkadot network can process more than 1,000 transactions per second compared to about 7 for Bitcoin and 30 for Ethereum. As the network grows and more parachains are added, Polkadot should get even faster with speeds that could hit a million transactions per second, which would be pretty insane, guys. Those are some insane speeds right there. So definitely another reason to keep Polkadot on your radar, guys. And the market cap is still, you know, it's in the mid-range. I guess $35 billion is pretty high, but uh, it still has plenty of potential to run as you guys can compare, you know, to Bitcoin or Ethereum. Uh, they have a way higher market cap compared to Polkadot or Solana. So Polkadot, very interesting coin. Third altcoin on the list is going to be Cosmos, also known as Atom. This one is up about 11.75%, trading right around this $39 range. In the past uh, week, it's up 32%. Past month, 143%. And then on the one-year chart, 686%. So we saw this one trading at $4 or so last year. Hit highs here in May. We hit highs of about $30. Pulled back down all the way down here to about under $10. And then from then, we're up over 200% close to 300% at this point, it's uh, breaking out. So Cosmos is definitely breaking out now. I would not be surprised to see this one trading at $50 in the near future, which would bring it to a market cap of over $10 billion, as it's standing at $8.4 billion right now. Typical hold time is 35 days on this one. It is the 18th most popular coin, 70% 70, uh, 70 buy, 30% sell. Cosmos is a cryptocurrency that powers an ecosystem of blockchains designed to scale and interoperate with each other. The team aims to create an internet of blockchains, a network of blockchains able to communicate with each other in a decentralized way. Cosmos is a proof of stake uh, chain. Atom holders can stake their tokens in order to maintain the network and receive more Atom as a reward. How does it work? Well, the main uh, idea of Cosmos is to allow for faster and cheaper decentralized applications, anything from uh, NFT marketplace to decentralized exchanges by allowing them to run on their own de dedicated blockchain. So NFTs, once again, just like Solana, that's what's keeping this one up as well with the whole run that we're seeing in the M NFT world. Now, all of these independent blockchains are interconnected by the internet, inter-blockchain uh, communication protocol or IBC. Cosmos also provides developers with uh, pre-built modules that allow them to quickly create blockchains that are completely customizable for their specific use case. Now, the Cosmos Consensus Engine, IBC Protocol, and Software Developer, Developer Kit are designed to enable ease of use and interoperate between chains while maintaining the security and transaction cost and speed developers would expect from other leading blockchain platforms. Now, keep in mind, you can earn rewards by staking Atom uh, on Coinbase as well. So, staking is definitely a popular, popular thing in the crypto space. So, Cosmos is going to be our third altcoin. 
Now what we're going to do, guys, um, you know, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about those three altcoins? Are you buying any of those? Are you selling? Do you hold any of them? Let me know what you're thinking. I'll, I'll reply to your comments. As always, right now, we're going to discuss the rest of the market. So let's take a look at what Bitcoin and Ethereum is doing as well. So like we said, Bitcoin trading around this 48,500 area, 49,000 area, 911 billion market cap right now. It is up almost 2% in the past 24 hours. Very nice from the lows of uh, 46,000 yesterday. Now, in the past week, it's up 8%. In the past month, it's up 8.5%. Obviously, we saw the huge run to 53. After 53, we saw it drop to 40. And then ever, ever since that 40 drop, we've been on an uptrend. It was a sell the news type situation. So now here in the one-year chart, we're up 343%, doing very well. If we can close in and get past that 50,000 area, it would be very nice, obviously. So right now, trading activity, 66% buy, 34% sell, and obviously 86 typical hold time days. So Ethereum, Ethereum. Pretty much same pattern almost, but this one is actually flat on the past 24 hours. It went from 3,300 all the way to about 3,500 here, and it's trading around that range right now as well. In the past week, it's up 8.5%, past month 15%, in the past year 805%. Obviously, we're going to be looking for it to close in on that 4,000 area once again. 411.8 billion market cap, 71% buy activity, 29% sell, and the 82-day typical hold time on uh, Ethereum as well. So very similar to Bitcoin. Then we have Doge, the meme, which is flat as well. Pretty much the same pattern as Ethereum. So this one is at 24 cents. And the thing that we've seen here with the Ethereum or with Dogecoin, we've seen it trade between this range of about 20 and 28 cents or so for the past month or so. Uh, it did hit lows down here, obviously, in July at 16 and then highs of 34. But we've been pretty much trading at this 20 to 28 cent range for a while now. So we keep bouncing back and forth between this range. Doge is not going anywhere. It's not going to continue to run on higher, in my opinion. So it's just going to continue to go consolidate, maybe go up a little bit, maybe go down a little bit. But in the long run, I think it's game over for Doge. 31.9 billion market cap right now for Doge. So you know, there's still holders that believe it's going to go to the moon. I personally don't think it's going to go to the moon. I think we were at the moon a few months ago when it hit 77 cents, and now it's time to come back down to earth. So it's over for Doge, in my opinion. You guys let me know what do you guys think about uh, Doge in the comments below. Smash that like button for me, guys, if you enjoyed content like this. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification to get notified every time I make a new video. And as always, check out a uh, link in the description for Weeble if you want to sign up. Get your two free stocks valued up to $2,300. And as always, check out our merch as well. Um, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, guys. So before investing, speak to your financial advisor. This is all for entertainment purposes only. So speak to your financial advisor. Do your own due diligence and, you know, understand the risk and reward uh, in investing in crypto or the stock market. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.